NVIDIA's latest and greatest gaming GPU is the GeForce GTX 1080 Ti. The company promises a 35% performance improvement compared to the GTX 1080, that too at the same price. That sounds like a huge win for gamers. Here's our review of NVIDIA's own GeForce GTX 1080 Ti Founders Edition. NVIDIA's partners, including Asus, Zotac and MSI, will be selling cards based on this reference Founders Edition design, as well as their own custom designs with tweaked clock speeds and more elaborate coolers. We have a Founders Edition card direct from NVIDIA which is identical to those being sold by other companies. The GTX 1080 Ti's GPU is a lower cost version of the massive NVIDIA Titan X GPU which was released last year. It has the same number of processing units but a slightly reduced rendering pipeline and memory subsystem. NVIDIA has cut one twelfth of the Titan X's cache memory and RAM, so you have 11 GB instead of 12 GB. However, this is a new generation of GDDR5X RAM which runs faster for an overall increase in memory bandwidth. Shockingly, NVIDIA has priced the GTX 1080 Ti at nearly half the cost of the Titan X without reducing that much functionality. The Founders Edition card has a die-cast aluminum shell and vapor chamber cooler. The single fan blows hot air out the back of your PC. There's one HDMI and three DisplayPort video outputs. The older DVI port has been dropped to improve airflow. You'll need one 6-pin and one 8-pin PCIe power connector. In terms of performance, this card blazed through all our benchmarks and game tests. It scored considerably higher than the GeForce GTX 1080, and there's no competition from AMD in this generation that can come close. We ran a variety of games at 4K, and in many cases we had a great experience even at the highest possible quality settings. If you aren't on a budget and want a smooth 60fps at 4K in current day games, or if you're using a high refresh rate monitor, you should definitely grab a GeForce GTX 1080 Ti. With this release, NVIDIA is cementing its graphics performance lead ahead of AMD's Vega generation, which is expected in a few months. We're looking forward to an interesting battle between the two later this year, but for now, this is the clear high-end winner. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more. You can also find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Gadgets360.